Hello lamp fans, this week we're looking at Model 6 lamps, uh, floor lamp here, but also on another note, I had a, a viewer ask me to shoot a video on the different styles of Aladdin lamps. Well, um, I unfortunately don't really have anything left to show you. So out of 150 unique Aladdin and center draft lamps and probably 150 ones for trade or for sale, I don't really have any here. They're all packed and ready and moved already. Um, and uh, so I will have them out in the next couple months. So I had my trusty Model 6, my daily runner there. Uh, and then I had another one, which I just decommissioned to drain the oil out of it. But um, I bought this floor lamp uh, last month uh, and it's a Model B and it's in really good shape. It was misassembled. So this bottom flute was at the top or and the, this was at the bottom and the whole thing wobbled. So I kind of shook my head and I took it apart and put it together the other way and it works fine. So this one came with a glass uh, alicite font. Didn't have the right font in it. And uh, I mean, I do have the, red, the regular metal ones, but I'm not running any Bs right now. So I decided to take a Model 6 and put it in. Um, and I have a whole bunch of these really horrible shaped Model 6s that are just like, there's nothing really, I mean, there's no major dents in it. They all have dents, but the, um, the nickel's either worn off or corroded off. So I just quickly just desoldered it. And uh, I took it and I basically just ran it through the brass wheel, uh, wire wheel to clean it up. And it has some dance. I didn't bother trying to take those out. Then I put my uh, Model 6 uh, burner and mantle on it. And uh, I ran it, uh, but it wasn't running right because um, the center hole on the bees, even though they weren't designed to be center draft, that center hole is too small. So when I put this down, it kind of chokes itself off. As you can see, the center draft hole on that is much larger. It's like one and a quarter, and the other one is less than an inch. So just as a quick fix, I grabbed some of those fancy uh, wall hanger clips, brass ones, and just clapped them on there for now just to see if it works. And guess what? <clears throat> it works fine. Uh, ran it last night for three or four hours. Uh, runs terrific. Um, I'm going to run this from now on, I think. But I think I'm going to do is come up with a nicer solution, something that kind of clips on that looks proper, allows air to come in here and air to go up. But it performs really well. Um, and the Flame Spreader uh, Part 2 Model 6 using a B, you can, but the problem is it kind of pushes too much of the heat to the top or the flame to the top. And so you don't get a nice bright burn. Uh, if you do, it overburns uh, it through the top. So um, one thing that I'm trying is this hack here is basically a piece of brass shim curled up and rolled inside. So I'm gonna, uh, of a Model B, and I plug the top. So I'm gonna put that through some trials tonight and I'll let you guys know on the next video if that works out for a quick Model B. I wish I had a, a proper metal rolling tool, but I'm not really gonna invest anything right now into stuff as I have to move it to the new location. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week's video. And um, if there's anything that you'd like to chat about or any ideas uh, or any uh, things you wanna know, just drop me a line. Thank you and have a great day.